which you've identified as a red bird, and you pointed out that it's that it's lumpy. Yeah. What did you see that made you say that? It's kind of a kind of curves okay. the back, and then, even like the wing is real. It's not real linear like you would see most birds. Okay. So you're looking closely at the sort of perimeter, the outline of this that, that appears to be very bumpy. And then you pointed out that even what where you're identifying as a wing isn't doesn't have the sleek straight lines that you might expect, but is, is kind of again bumpy and curved. I was just gonna say there's no like definitive lines or you know as far as like the images that it's everything's kind of like blended together a lot of colors mixing together and it's kind of gives you like a little bit fuzzy appearance appearance of like the the birds and stuff okay so you're looking overall at the image yeah. and seeing that there aren't a lot of sort of true or pure colors. Yeah. There, there's a lot of color mixing and colors blending into each other. And, um, and I think what I heard you saying is that that sense of almost blurriness or fuzziness mm -hmm. is almost a characteristic of birds. Is, yeah. Is that, is yeah. that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay, one more. I see that that big bird is going to eat that baby bird and all of the other birds are trying to attack it. <laughs> okay, so you're, you're sort of discerning some drama or some kind of yeah. um, meaningful relationships here and suggesting that this might be a baby bird. Mm -hmm. What did you see that made you say it's an infant, it's not a mature bird? I don't see feathers like I see on the other ones. Okay. Like even though we don't have like specific lines, this one, that one looks smooth and the other birds you can kind of see more texture. Okay. So looking around at some other forms that you identify as birds and seeing that they have kind of a roughness or a complexity in their mm -hmm. contours, whereas here you see something that looks more like it has a smooth surface, almost like a, a naked kind of effect mm -hmm. of this bird, which you associate with an immature mm -hmm. bird. And then furthermore, you suggested that this large form here is about to eat that. Or what did you see that it. made you say there was Well, for some reason, there. they have expressions in their faces. So this big, big one looks angry, like he was about to do something. The little one looks scared. And the way the legs are, like, He's about to grab here, this one's. He's ah, about to grab something. Okay. Okay, so. And then the other ones are attacking him. All right, so you're looking at what appears to be a, an emotion on in the face mm -hmm. and especially the eye of this figure and feeling that it looks perhaps angry, hostile. Mm -hmm. And um, similarly, reading an expression of, of fright mm -hmm. on that one. And then you drew our attention to these lines down here, which you said look like the, the foot of this bird. The talon might might be about ready to mm -hmm. grab that that other. And I believe he did already. Because you can see this in here. Uh huh. Take it from here. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So looking closely at the. At the the colors that are scattered here, and somebody else pointed out how, how chaotic sometimes the colors are. It looks to you like this, this talon, this foot, might have already made a strike mm -hmm. at this branch and caused some things to fly off mm -hmm. that we're seeing here. So you feel like an attack is in process. And then furthermore, you noted that these other shapes up here that, that you see as other birds appear to be sort of counter-attacking, mm -hmm. attacking this large figure. Mm -hmm. What do you see in any of these forms that make you feel that they are attacking? Mm -hmm. Straight okay. down. Okay. So especially like those two. Again, looking at the expression, um, especially the eyes and the face, and, and you're pointing out the angle of these as forms seem to go straight towards this. And you said especially these two. What more? 
I keep focusing in on the figures in the upper right hand corner since they're pretty distinctly not birds like the rest of the painting. They don't really fit okay. the bird thing. So you're looking up in this area yeah. and, um, and saying those forms don't appear like birds to you. Right. And, and can I ask, what, what do you see that makes you say they are some kind of creature? Or are you not seeing that? No, I think so. It, it looks like all three have eyes, and the, the lowermost looks like it has a nose and almost horns like a cow would. And the other two, well, what I see is figures. Yeah, uh -huh. there and there. This looks like an eye, and this looks okay. like an eye. Ear, mouth, nose, nose, nose. Okay, so you're identifying some sort of anatomical facial features here that, that make this seem like a group of creatures of yeah. some sort, but you, you referenced several animal types. You, you said even a horn-like shape, like a cow, but, mm -hmm. but very unclear mm -hmm. what, what those forms might be. What more? Seems like to be a transition of colors from like the left to right side as far as more dark colors to on the right kind of more of like a light, lighter shades. Okay. I don't know necessarily what that represents, but. Okay, but, but just noticing again, bring, bringing our attention back to the way color is used, and then also to just kind of the large formal qualities of this, that, that there seems to be a massing of darker hues mm -hmm. on this side, and, and some kind of a transition towards lighter. And, and you're actually, it seems posing the question, is there significance to that or not? You, you're not sure. Yeah. I don't know, even kind of just the same thing from like colors. It seems like things are a little bit more defined on the left, mm -hmm. almost then when you get here, everything's kind of just losing like the brush strokes are a little more erratic like right here and then right here you can't really tell any forms. Okay. But there you can kind of, it looks like you can make out some, okay. some sort of shape. So there's another sense of transition we talked about from darker colors to lighter, but you're, you're feeling like there, there is a sense of greater definition of the forms to, on the left that, that becomes more ambiguous or less, less clear on this side. And you, you especially drew attention to how, um, how sort of bold but also undefined the brush strokes are over there as opposed to, for example, these outlines. I think overall, <clears throat> just the way that it was painted, like Zach mentioned, that there's not a lot of um, sharp, you know, edges. It's just kind of all blurred together somewhat. And uh, so then you kind of see some different bird, you know, the different birds and these creatures up here and then the upper right hand corner that you're not sure exactly what they are. And I think that just adds a certain level of tension and kind of like you just kind of feel that there's a little bit, there's something going on here. And uh, these, you know, some of the birds, they look like some exotic birds, maybe not, you know, native to the U.S., maybe in other, you know, other parts of the world. And you have some, some creatures here and uh, some of those look like, you know, like birds you might see, like a parrot or a toucan or something similar. And these are animals that you're like, you know, it's almost like a, a mythical kind of animal. And so, so that kind of adds that element. Um, yeah. Okay. So if I'm understanding you correctly, you're pointing out another sort of gradation here or um, sort of continuum from creatures that seem more concrete and recognizable, including some that seem like they might be specific birds from different parts of the world, perhaps not our area, but some others. You mentioned a toucan or other birds like that. Um, and, that and the transition of that to some, some life forms that we can't quite identify at all. And, and you mentioned the possibility that they might be mythic, that they might not even be in the natural world. And can I just ask, what did you see that made you say they might not be part of the world as we usually know it? Right, so like this one, you know, it's got, looks like it has some horns or some other distinguishing features, so that could be, you know, a, even like a cow or something mm -hmm. similar, but like this one, you can kind of, I don't know, you can, it looks like an eye just like the other ones have, but it's a little bit hard to like make out a distinct form or to like compare it to something a mental image that you already have in your mind 
and then this one as well. Mm -hmm. um, and it's tough because you can only see the head as well. Mm -hmm. You can't see the rest of the body. So, yeah, that's... <laughs> okay, so some of them are just plain perplexing and vague, and others, it seems like you're saying, suggest but don't really define some possibilities, like the cow idea and the, and the horn idea. And then you mentioned early on in this comment that um, you thought those, those differences between recognizable or more defined versus not recognizable and, and undefined, that that creates a kind of tension here. All right, yeah. What did you see that made you say that's uncomfortable? How humans, how we're comfortable with things that we understand, that we know, and then when we go to, you know, we encounter new things or different things in our life that we don't understand, it creates a certain level of tension and, and maybe stress or, you know, whatever you want to see in that. But uh, So that's just kind of what I was what I was noticing there is that, you know, there are some some differences and some contrasts and maybe some things that you're not familiar with. Okay. So if I'm understanding you correctly, it feels kind of like real experience that in life there are some things you're unfamiliar with, some things you recognize and are familiar with, and there's always a certain sense of discomfort maybe when we don't fully understand what we're encountering. Absolutely. Yep.